Hey everybody, it's Carrie from Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you are watching this video, that means you picked embroidered notebooks for your trash panda treasure. Let's take a look, see what you got in your bags and how to put it together. Okay, so in your bags, you should have some embroidery thread. You should have a notebook with a uh, brown cover. Um, your thread might look like either one of these. I just wanted to show them both. You'll have a template, which will help you if you decide to do a geometric pattern and a needle um, to put that thread on. And then you will need a pen or a marker to be able to use our template or to draw your own pattern. So the way the template works, um, you can kind of see on the back, you're going to poke holes in the front of this book and then sew the thread through them. Um, the back is a mess, that's okay. <laughs> you guys have some tape on a playing card too that will help you pin down those back pieces. If you don't wanna do a geometric shape, my name is Carrie. Um, if you, I drew my name on there and then I can take that needle and I can poke holes through the letters that I've drawn. You could also do this with any drawing of anything. You like cactuses, you wanna draw a llama, you want to draw a cat, whatever it is that you like, or whatever word you like, um, you'll draw it on there and then you'll poke holes so that when you sew it with a thread, the thread will follow the curves of those letters or that drawing. I did mine in cursive. You can do yours in all caps or however it looks best to you. If you choose to use the template, you'll poke holes with the needle where I've put all of those holes. So it'll look sort of like this. And then you'll take your pen or your marker or your pencil and you'll um, go through those holes to mark it onto your notebook because the, the distance between all of these is a half an inch. And in order to get the geometric pattern to come out correctly, I had to measure pretty precisely. So, once you have marked, once you have poked through those holes, you can then take a pen or pencil and use that to mark the front of your notebook. And then you can use what you've marked on the front of your notebook as your guide for poking holes in the beginning. And then you'll be able to sew in between those. And that's what the back of the template shows is the, the pattern to sew. So, I've got those holes on there. Now I can take my needle and I can poke through here. Just please don't poke your finger. <laughs> Make sure to be aware of where that is on the back side. Once you have a couple rows of those holes poked, you can take your thread, unwind as much as you're comfortable working with. I usually do an arm's length or so, um, and you're gonna go ahead and thread your needle. And after you thread your needle, you're gonna wanna go ahead and triple knot the back. Should be a big enough knot that you'll be able to make sure that it, it's secures your embroidery thread on the back side of that notebook. You're going to open your cover and coming from the back to the front, pick a hole closest to either edge. I'm going to follow this template pretty closely. So I'm going to start in the top right and I'll use the top right hole of my notebook. And you can kind of see that diamond pattern starts with just a zigzag down the side. So that's what we'll do first. And it doesn't really matter from what direction you go from. Once you've pulled your needle through to the front, uh, you can go left or right or up or down. Um, you just want to follow that, that pattern. And you'll use some of these holes more than once, and that is totally fine. Um, as you can see on the template, sometimes there's a bunch of different arrows pointing to the same hole. Totally fine. So you can see I've used that one now twice that I just put that needle through. And now I've got that starting zigzag pattern. If I do another zigzag pattern going the other direction, 
that will give me that sort of up and down row of diamonds that starts off the geometric pattern. So we'll go ahead and do that. And the next step in the pattern is to take these lines that are going to be going horizontally. Um, so you'll start the hole right above one of the diamonds. And so these lines that lead right up to the diamond. And then another row of zigzags will close those lines that we just did and kind of start that pattern all over again because it will also be the zigzag for the next row of diamonds. And basically, you'll do that over the whole front of the notebook. Or you'll do it over half and put a word on the bottom. It's really up to you kind of where you want to take it from. Um, so I've given you some options, but you are more than welcome to do this however you want. And when you come to the end of your thread, that's what the tape is for. So um, you'll go ahead and push your needle through to the back, the back side, the messy side of the notebook, and just go ahead and tape that down. And then you'll rethread your needle and start again wherever um, you left off in your pattern or if you're ready to start a whole new pattern. 